Hey guys, this is John with howtoexcel.org and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, importing XML data into Excel and then formatting it as a table. And we're going to be using Power Query to do all of this. So XML data is a pretty common uh, type of data across uh, the web and different applications. And so as an example of XML, actually, if you take any Excel file, you can see that it's actually made up of a bunch of different XML files. So you can see that by uh, editing the file. And if you just, uh, well, first of all, I'm just going to make a copy of this so I don't accidentally screw it up. If you change the extension of your Excel file to a .zip file, oh, escape. So zip and enter, and yes, I definitely want to change it. Now, if you navigate into that zip folder, you're going to see uh, some various different folders, and most of what you're going to see is dot xml extensions so files that are uh, xml files so so let's try opening one of these up and see what's in there and as you can see it's just a text uh, text data in a certain format so we're going to uh, we're actually going to be looking at importing a specific file here. So I've got a contacts.xml file set up, and let's just open that up and take a look at it. So here this is formatted a little bit nicely, uh, more nice than uh, that Excel example. But uh, you can see here that I've got my data set, and in there I've got a record. And then each record is made up of a name, and that name contains a first name, a last name, and then I've got an email address, and in there I've got a work and home email address, and then there's a city and country in each record. So let's just close that out, and let's head over to Excel and try importing that. So we need to go to the Data tab, and from there we need to get data and this is going to be from file and we're going to choose from xml file now we're going to be able to navigate to our file so i'm just going to uh, i'm actually just going to copy and paste this address here and paste it in there and there we go, there's our contact file that we were looking at. And if I click on import, then this is going to bring us to our navigator window. So now if we click on this record here, we can see that we've got, uh, I'm just going to open this back up. We can see that we've got uh, one, two, three, four, four, five, five, a total of five records in our te uh, XML file. And that's how many records we got here. So that looks good. Let's go into transform data because we're going to, we have these tables here and we're going to need to expand those out because those contain our work email address and our home email address and uh, information there so this is op this opens up the power query editor and I'm just gonna refresh that view and here's the the same preview of the data that we had in our navigator window and as you can see we've got the city and the country in there and if I go back to my text file, where was it? There we go, contacts.xml. You can see that city and country just contains uh, a city and 
the country, whereas our name and email field contains both a first name and a last name and a work address and a home address. So that's why we uh, see a table in our Power Query Editor for those two fields. So we need to expand those out, and we can do that by clicking on this icon up here. And that's going to allow us to expand out the field. So click right there, make sure expand is selected. And then choose both the first and last names. They're already checked off. And we can uh, press OK then. And you can see that has expanded this out to a first name and a last name. And we can do the same thing with our email address information there. So expand and keep those both checked and press OK. And now we've got our email, uh, work email and our home email. And I'm just going to go in and change these. Double click to change the column header name. So I'm just going to change that to uh, maybe home email instead. And again, work email. And press enter. And let's last name and first name. All right, so that's uh, our data expanded out into a proper table format. Now we can just close and load this data. And I picked close and load too. That's going to give me this option to import uh, the data to a specific place if I want. So I'm just going to press existing worksheet and uh, B2 is good. Press OK. And that's going to import my data into a table in Excel. So that's the basics of importing XML data into Excel using Power Query. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, make sure you hit the like button. That's going to motivate me to keep uh, making these videos. And you can also subscribe to my channel. The link's going to be uh, posted in the video somewhere here. For you to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one